Hi, I'm Dr. Eileen Sables, and today we're going to talk about bacterial vaginosis, or BV for short. Lots of girls will present with vaginal discharge. A lot will have bacterial vaginosis, and it's kind of a bacterial soup, a mixture of different bacteria, which have been allowed to overgrow because the normal bacteria in there, the lactobacillus, for some reason have died off. This gives a fishy, thin discharge, or in 50% of cases, nothing at all. And if you are accidentally diagnosed with BV because somebody does a swab because they're looking for chlamydia or gonorrhea, if you've actually got no symptoms, then you don't need to have any treatment. If you do have an irritating discharge, then you can have treatment, simple, um, with some antibiotics. It is a difficult thing to eliminate because the number of lactobacillus in the vagina has changed, so that changes the acidity of the vagina and then that allows these other bacteria to grow, proliferate and grow. If you've had BV before, you are more likely to experience those symptoms again, but if you've had unprotected intercourse, please don't assume it is BV. Have yourself tested. There's no need to treat a partner of somebody who has BV. This is a problem with your own bacterial culture in the vagina. So male partners, female partners, they don't need treatment. BV can cause a little bit of inflammation in the pelvis, but it doesn't have such a big association like chlamydia and gonorrhea do. It's mostly just a nuisance.